And my posture is good. I have good posture. All right. So this is Ali TV's Paralyzing Wisdom DPS character. It is 12 Ranger, 6 Fighter, and 2 Artificer. Maxing out Wisdom and is a Deep Gnome. Notes, the goal of this character is to maintain consistent paralyzed DCs and high Reaper content using pin and other skills to cause helplessness. Secondary goal is providing respectable DPS and fortification bypass for the party. Can swap Deep Wood Stalker for 30 to a 32 point Kensai spread in order to take Exposed Weakness and Falconry where relevant. Level 29 feat is in flux, mostly debating between Dire Charge and Mass Frog. Dire Charge can facilitate with a weapon swap. Frog didn't, didn't seem like DCs could hit high number enough to be consistent, whereas Dire Charge is remarkable and provides helplessness and damage bonus. I'm also curious which you think would be more valuable in general, where Frog excels. Mage Rate and Melee are the main gear sets, with the weapon swap being the only difference. The raids and no raid setups are mostly for their own use and other planning. Great. So... 102 Wisdom. Yeah, you're going to be able to land uh, Mass Frog. The reason why Mass Frog is good is not because you're supposed to Mass Frog regular monsters. Oh, Barnex like Okay, if you're going 1 to 30, if you're leveling, two-handed fighting. Um, If you're worried about Mass Frog landing, you don't use it on everything. You use it on monsters that have zero will save because it's a will save. Are you in Sharn? Have you ever done Sharn and had those pesky constructs that you just can't do anything about you've got those iron defenders the set those watcher constructs that just ping you constantly well guess right you walk in you class mass frog and every single one of those things gets deleted oh there's some mage fire cannons well they don't have any will saves they're gone uh, scarecrows they're gone the shadow totems in babala saga's hut oh they're gone so it's very very useful uh, it's just not useful against everything. Will you hit a technician in Sharn? No. But will you hit all the constructs next to the technician? Yes. So we'll talk about that in a bit. But lots of wisdom, lots of con, enough decks with a plus eight tone to get all the feats. Sounds good to me. Don't see anything else I would adjust here. I mean, intelligence, you're a gnome, so whatever. Okay, so you take point blank shot. You have 12 rangers, so you don't need to take any of the bow feats, although you are playing as a bocher, so you do take dodge mobility and, of course, shot on the run. Uh, you take Spell Focus Enchantment, Favorite Enemy Undead, and Construct, and your last favorite enemy is... Evil Outsider, that's all good. And Weapon Focus Range, Greater Focus Enchantment, Greater Weapon Spec, all that seems fine. Quicken. I don't know if you need Quicken, because I don't know what you're Quickening. This might sound like a stupid question, I don't know what you're Quickening. Because you don't need to Quicken Mass Frog, because you're just going to cast it. Um, and you shouldn't have that many spells. Like, your ranger spells are all out of combat. And you don't need any artificer spells. So I don't think you need quicken here. You can probably put this into something else. Uh, I'm assuming you don't have, like, a completionist or something. Mostly cocoon while leveling. I mean, yeah, you can definitely put it onto cocoon. Uh, you don't have past life wizard any, which is where I would recommend you would swap it into. So if you like to have it for a cocoon... It's a, definitely a good thing, even to have it at the end game for a cocoon, because it just gets it out. Um, combat archery, again, god tier, you gotta make sure you have this. Overwhelming critical is good. Epic skill focus, disable device. Um, there's definitely better decisions here. Not too many, though, because a lot of this stuff doesn't really matter. Uh, you get the bypassing of all of the stats from the arcane archer tree, assuming you put the points in there, so you don't need to take these at all. Although, if you don't have that, then these are nice, because uh, the problem with archery is that you all bows don't really have any bypasses due to the fact that Arcane Archer gets that. And then of course you just have straight up toughness. Uh, watch fly feet. I don't love watch fly because it requires both your spot and your search. However, the cool thing is uh, your character should have a lot of spot and search simply because of the fact that you have a hundred million wisdom and then you also happen to have a uh, the search to be able to see everything. So this should work. Uh, double shot is great. Um, you don't really need dire charge. I recommend mass frog over dire charge. Arcane Insight is a very interesting choice because of the spell DCs, and of course Sign of the Feywild again for the spell DCs. Those are both interesting ideas. Something I haven't really considered that much. Wisdom of Falconry handles the spot. Yeah, exactly. Alright, let's take a look at the tree and how you spent your points. So you are an Arcane Archer, and you do get the critical... Uh, yeah, you get the bypass here, which is good. You take also all of this stuff, which is good. You go into Falconry... You've got one point of Deadly Instinct, and you have the attacks, so you can actually get your Deadly Instinct out. You go Deep Wood, and you pick up all the good stuff out of Deep Wood, except for the Auto Crit. Uh, you don't have Crit Multi on this build, which is unfortunate. So you're missing out on one Crit Multi. You can get it for 11 points into Kensai. 
but for 11 points into Kensai, you have to give up Deadly Instinct. And something else. Oh, right. Heavy Draw. Why do I always forget that Heavy Draw does that? Thank you, guys. I always forget. I even, I'm taking on this character because this ability, Shadow Arrows, does not give plus one multi. It's bugged. And you need Heavy Draw. So, yeah, you do have multi. Okay. Uh, you have the Awareness. You don't take any of the Elemental Arrows because they're not important. You have the Resummoning. The Spelling Shot is uh, not going to be useful that often, but because oddly enough, Dispelling Shot will take off your own Paralyzing Arrows, which is hilarious. But, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, Wisdom, and if you have nothing else, Soul Magic's okay. You don't pick up the Action Boost here, uh, which you could also pick up instead of Dispelling Shot, which may be more useful, depending on if you're running Deadly Rain or not, just have more Action Boost without needing to take extra Action Boost somewhere. You have the Sprint, you have the extra DCs, which is good out of here. Uh, you take the extra favorite enemy, although you don't have the extra favorite enemy out of Deep Wood Stalker. Um, and then you have Out in Nature. Uh, you don't take Physical Resistance Rating, but it's pretty tight on points. And you make sure to grab Killer Instinct too, so you just have to get the both together, which is good. Conditioning, and again, Deadly Instinct. Assuming that you're using your Falconry skills on cooldown, you should never run out of Deadly Instincts. And even then, even if you do, uh, you'll be able to make it, presuming you're pressing it pretty consistently... Uh, you should be able to make it to Shrines before you have to worry about it becoming a problem. Uh, Deepwood Stalker. You grab the extra Stealthy for the Sneak Attack dice. This is obviously for the damage. Plus the defense here. Power boost. The extra defense. The extra defense. The extra defense. Uh, killer. Killer is one of those things that you may not get all the time. And the DI ranks. One is serviceable. Yeah. Um, getting the extra Wisdom here is nice. I forgot this gave, this gave Wisdom. And all this stuff is pretty good, especially since you get the advanced sneak attack training for the fortification bypass, which is pretty good. Honestly, your tree is really, really tight. I'm trying to think of what I would actually change out here. There's not a lot of points you can kind of squeeze. Um, you have the one universal tree, which really helps out. Drop wisdom for an aimed shot. But it's even, though. It's even. I do, I do like Aimed Shot, just because it also lets you maintain while you're moving, because you can use Aimed Shot to keep up Archer's Focus stacks. I've been using that pretty often in on my character. Yeah, I was going to say the damage against favorite enemies is probably what I would cu uh, cut here, because there's going to be a lot of situations where you won't be attacking your favorite enemy, and you need as much wisdom as possible, because you need the DCs. Um, so let's just cut, 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 cut. Not what I wanted to cut. Still not what I wanted to cut. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Is it annoying with 30 second duration? It is annoying. But this would work and it would all come together. Because um, yeah, aim shot is definitely like really, really good. Um, it's not just the fact that it is a hit with plus one multi, but it's mostly that you gain three stacks of Archer's Focus instantaneously. It's very nice to have. Yeah, it's it's kind of like just having 15 extra range power uh, when after you press it. Like when I use it on my Archer, I would be sitting, be standing there, and then the monster becomes active. Let's say it's a boss or it has like some type of dialogue. And right now when I'm playing it, it's aim shot plus uh, many shot plus... So it's aim shot, then I use many shot, then... Um, sniper shot, and then I was using arrow of slaying after that, or if I didn't have arrow of slaying, I would just go back to many shot, and instantaneously your character has a ton of additional stats, so it's pretty good. Um, I would I would definitely recommend doing that. It's a very fast build, and getting up to three stacks of archer's focus, again, it's 15 range power faster, so it's pretty good. I have a lot of respect for this ability. Everything else seems pretty good. I don't know... I, uh, I don't think there's anything I would change here. Again, a lot of people like Action Boost Sprint, so just keep Action Boost Sprint. Let's you move around fast. I also really like Soul Magic just because it's infinity spell points. That's the thing that's nice. You don't need any mana item. You never need to think about it. You always have spell points because you're always critically hitting people. So all of this seems pretty good. I wouldn't really change this. Now, Epic Destiny. Oh, ad time? Oh, I can I can play an ad. Don't you worry. You want an ad? I'll get you an ad. Assassinate. DCs could probably be moved to PRR. Mm, I don't know. I think the Assassinate DCs are probably also relevant just because it's helplessness damage, which is pretty good. Now, here's the interesting thing. So you're in Magister, and you have the uh, Null Magic Aura. Now, the Null Magic Aura is really, really crazy 
It's nice to have on a character like this. You also don't need any of the stuff, but yeah, Magister is kind of weird. The problem I have with Magister is it chunks out your damage quite a bit. Um, with the benefit being that you get nine additional enchantment DCs because you get the six or the three from here and the six from here versus like being a wisdom based Shirati for the extra DCs. So is the nine DCs worth losing 60 ranged power plus also all the core stuff? Now, also, is it fair to make it nine DCs? Because you would twist in spell school specialist enchantment. Um, so you wouldn't, you'd get that back. You could even run six wisdom up the side, which would give you back three of those DCs. So you'd still be down six enchantment DCs. Yeah. You're planning on swapping depending on what you were running? Yeah. So what did you set up for uh, Shirati? So Shirati, you set it up with five wisdom. You'd even get the six wisdom up here if you wanted. I feel like that's definitely feasible. The problem is you'd have to lose two points in track. Um, but track is not too bad. It's pretty good. Pretty good ability, reducing uh, armor class by ten and fortification by twenty. Uh, but I would still think because of the way your stats are lined up. I'm just gonna wait. What did I cut? Wait, what did I cut? Nerve venom? Do you have one point into nerve venom? Wait, did you not use nerve venom on this build? Because you have Paralyzing? I guess. Oh, one to two. Autos, autos. Yeah, that makes sense. I would probably do that. So it's a slight difference in your Wisdom. This also technically pumps your Assassinate DCs. And then, of course, you would just swap in the, the other thing. I think that's actually a pretty elegant change between the two. You have the one pin for when you need the DCs. Uh, right now, with your Wisdom and your items, you're currently rocking... Uh, spell school DCs plus 71 to enchantment DCs. So at 102 wisdom, which is plus 46 on your modifier, 20 plus 46 is 66, plus 71 is 137. That's a lot. It's a lot. 137 is pretty good. I mean, even in Sharadi, as I said. Then you twist this. Sharadi. Shirati. Or no, Magister Spell School Specialist. G7. Oh, did you also have that other ability active? Yeah, you also had the other. Oh, this is with Arcane Insight active, too. Okay. You wouldn't have Arcane Insight active all the time. So it's plus 51 outside of that. So 66 plus 51 is uh, 117. And we hear and slightly upset because I can't solo level 5 and 6 quests. Oh, damn. Yeah, so 117 in Sharadi, Moving up to 123 in Magister. With the pump for an extra 5. You can check under the DC tab. Wait, there's a there's a DC breakdown tab? I was looking at the DC right here, but yeah. Yeah, because there's like there's the breakdown, but yeah. Um Oh, would that count as a spell? I mean hand hand hold animal is not the same thing as it's twenty. Paramas are charm animal plus nine. Wait a minute. Then how am I doing this wrong? Oh, DC. There it is. It's literally right there. I'm so dumb. There it is. Right before my eyes. Okay, never mind. So paralyzing arrows is is 110. This is so useful. I've never seen this window. Damn, dude. That's That's a sweet tab, you might say. How have I never seen this tab? That's so great. Versus, instead, being back in Magister, where your DCs were 121. Of course, this was 121 when you also had the stance turned on. Um, which is the Arcane Spell Surge, which you wouldn't always have. So you wouldn't always have Arcane Spell Surge on this. 
Still, that's not too bad. And considering you get a lot of shots, uh, it's, it's pretty good. But I would say, honestly, not too bad in terms of, like, even just not even being in Magister, just straight up being in, in uh, Shirati Champion. Like, it might sound like it's pretty low for the, uh, for what, 110? But, like, you have to remember that this has no cost to it. And, for the most part, most of the monsters you're going to be facing off against are going to get hit by 110. Yeah. I think that it really depends on exactly what content you're going through. Did I did Archer's Point. Oh, nice. That's awesome, Cedar Run. A giant, does it have Giant Hold Augment for plus 2? 120 or basically R10, no fail? Yeah. Uh, well, it depends. It depends on the type of monsters you're going off against. Like, if you can get a Black Abishai, good job. Yes, and also it doesn't go through spell saves bonuses, which I completely forgot about. Uh, where monsters get a bonus to spell saves. They get plus 4 on Reaper Mode, as well as even higher than that in as you get higher into the uh, uh, into Reaper mode, so or like in, into the dif different skulls. That's, that's a not too bad. Let's take a look at the items here. I'm assuming that your items are pretty tight, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, you're rocking the Twisted Willow. Twisted Willow? Because you want that armor piercing? Jeez. Uh, Band of Insightful Commands for the Profane Well-Rounded, I'm assuming, because and the Insightful Accuracy and the Quality Deadly. It's also easier to obtain. Uh, so what are you rocking? Four Winter Set. You've got the Masterful Rage Rite for the spell DCs. You've also got the uh, Mage Rite's Cloak, which gives the enchantment an insightful enchantment, which is the highest enchantment in the entire game. Then you have to give this item up. This is just a waste, but it gives you the extra DCs, which is pretty good. Well, Raids out the sort of middle ground with minimal raids. Oh, I see. Um, Shattered Onyx for the Insightful Wisdom and Profane Spell, Fastery, uh, spell Mastery. You have quality and wisdom here as well. My worry is that you've got, yeah, you've got accuracy and then you have the insightful accuracy. Um, my worry is that your character is still, it's definitely not going to have as much damage as somebody else. Um, unless you decided to drop the winter set. Now, of course, I know why you didn't. Um, because, you know, it's nice to have some actual hit points and your character would be pretty fragile without something like that. Um... You know, not having not having nearly as many defensive stats and still not even getting as defensively as you wish you were. That's one of the problems with playing a character like this. Is there's so many stats in different directions you want to go in. Also, your filigree sets are just primed for wisdom. So it's got celerity and celerity. You've got the deadly rain, deadly rain wisdom. You have the eye of the beholder wisdom and then eye of the beholder wisdom. And then you go full eye of the beholder to grab the extra plus two to DCs. And you grab wisdom, threat reduction, and wisdom. I don't think you need threat reduction. That's for damn sure. Um, not with this character anyway. Especially if you're going to be in Magister a good chunk of the time. But even in just Sharati Champion, it should be, it should be for the most part, fine. The main issue you're going to be running into is your offensive stats. So, uh, the offensive breakdowns. Your character, um, has 164 range power, which is not too bad with, without, I'm assuming, without stacks of Archer's Focus. Yeah, so that's without stacks of Archer's Focus. And you can go all the way up to 25 stacks, so... You know, your range power is not too bad, although still short of 300. Um, is definitely lower than you might otherwise want. Oh, is this in Magister? Oh, this is this is not in Magister. This is, in fact, in Shirati. Um, and then the double shot only clock in at 84 because you're missing out on the wall watch set. Chain Mail the first snow. So that's Winter Set, Winter Set, Winter Set, and then Winter Set. You've got your Constitution coming from... The, you've got two Slave Lords, one for Quality Wisdom. You've got Dexterity, Quality Dexterity. I guess you don't really need the Dexterity, though. This is just for Reflex saves, because your character can get some extra saves. Well, 69. Ugh. Also, Hydro with the bits! Dude, thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Was it a Reflex save choice? Yeah. I mean... Your character also doesn't have magical sheltering, so if you really wanted, you could also get magical sheltering somewhere, because you don't get that on any item, if you wanted to actually up your sheltering. But I'm assuming you probably have, like, a Sapphire Defense in here. Yeah, there's a sheltering hog. Yeah, exactly. And then you have the Raid set. I'm curious as to what the Raid set looks like. So this is actually swapping in the Helm of the Final Watcher, although not the whole set. Um, you've also got the Ring of Prowess here, as I can tell. This has got an Augment, and then, also, 
a change stone of dexterity. I'm assuming that you don't need the dexterity, but you want double shot, deception, and insightful accuracy. This is not that bad of a change stone uh, to get, by the way. Because it doesn't matter what your stat number one is. Like, the dexterity is nice, but you, all you want are the other stats. And getting deception, insightful accuracy, and double shot is not that bad. Wife wants a TV. See ya, Rano. Time to give it up. Question you might want to know. Is Inquisitive currently double double shotting? What do you mean double double shotting? Like they shoot, yeah, they shoot two shots because they shoot two physical things. Um, but yeah, this is not the craziest change stone to get uh, because everyone throws away double shot change stones because for the most part, every single range build in the entire game is using the Wildwood Wrists instead and this build does not use the Wildwood Wrists. So since you are not using the Wildwood Wrists, this is a valuable item and running dried in the demigod i cannot tell you how many double shot change stones i've seen drop it is like an infinite amount um it shoots four shots per trigger pull uh it shouldn't shoot four shots per trigger pull that would definitely be a bug um and then pretty much everything else seems largely the same but then you, of course you've got ariana the bolt bow uh you've got change stone and then you've got armor piercing slotted in on your slave lords. All of that seems pretty good. Um, but yeah, I don't think that this is a crazy thing to try to get. The benefit of this, of course, is the picking up of the extra stats. It's a lot more double shot. It's a lot more range power between these two items. Because now you're picking up the range power from the Ring of Prowess. Um, and then you even still got the insightful sneak attack bonus there. Plus you've got deception. So it is a lot of extra damage um, by picking up this set. Honestly, I think your set's pretty good. I don't know how it would change it because I would love to say like, oh, you should, but obviously you've got Cruel Cut, Quick Blade, and Dusk Raider. So these things kind of make up with the fact that you're not actually using the proper set. You can slap them into Helm of Vinyl Watcher, Legendary Chains, Change Stone, um, the Ring of Prowess, the Artifact, your Bow, uh, and the Quiver of Alacrity, I'm assuming is because it had, does this have an Augment slot? It does not have an Augment slot, if it did, and the Shattered Onyx. And three augment sets. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so it's um, the bow has Dusk Raider. So Dusk Raider. Um, wait, are there three cool cuts, cruel cuts in this sanctity? That's not how that works. You can't put more than one augment in an item. So that explains that. Yeah. I was, uh, okay, that is a that is a good catch. Quick blade. Quick Blade and Quick Blade. And then you have uh, Dust Raider, Dust Raider, and Dust Raider. And yeah, you're out of slots. So you'd have to give up on the Cruel Cut, by the way. Which I think is fine. If I was giving up on one of these three sets, I'd give up on Cruel Cut. Yeah, the winter, the Winters don't have them. Yeah. The Winters don't have them. That Fire of Dodge, True Imperial Blood. It's just this. So I, I, you're going to have to give up on Cruel Cut. That's all it is. And I'm assuming you have a Fest of, wis fest of Wisdom on this character. Yeah. Everything else is fine, but you just don't have enough for a third slot. This is all the sets you're going to be able to pick up. Uh, argument sets overriding item sets is weird. It does, though, which is fine. What's a good class to farm a couple epic pass lives, meaning it won't get boring fast? Um... Whatever you find fun to play. I like Sorcerer uh, for that because it's very fast. Same with Alchemist. Yeah, so you can just put a different Augment in here, but you wouldn't be able to get another set. So your your helplessness damage bonus would not be as high. I mean, the nice thing about this character is you can easily cause monsters to become helpless um, because you can just, you know, pin them um, once they're paralyzed. But yeah, it's still something that isn't going to work all the time. Because... You might face a construct or some dumb monster that doesn't deal with that. Okay. Your build gear is really, really tight. And this is like the first Paralyzer that I've had the opportunity to take a look at. So I wish I could give you more feedback than solving that problem before you had to firm out a Cruel Cut. If Again, if I'm picking between the three, cool, Cruel Cut, Quick Blade, and Dust Raider... Um, Quick Blade has no upper limit, and Dust Raider has no upper limit, and they're both really good as just base stats. So I would definitely pick these two over top of the other one. Uh, over top of Cruel Cut. Um, 
Yeah. And then, of course, as I said, like a change stone. Something like this. This might sound like an annoying item to get, and it will be annoying if you tried to farm it out yourself. If you have runes and you're rolling change stones, you'll never get even something close to this. But if you join raids, double shot change stones come all the time, and nobody wants them. There's a 0% chance you will get a dexterity change stone exactly like this. It's basically zero. But if I just take that away, this is a very possible item. Double shot, deception, or insightful accuracy, or even um, you can still use the seeker, which is good. I would take the seeker. Uh, and yeah, insightful accuracy, deception, or seeker, and then double shot is something that will probably happen because you still need those stats. Um, cause you, oh, you have secret from Helm of the Final Watcher. Wow, that is so tight. Oof. Oof. I mean, at that point, that's one in nine chain stones. No, is it more than one in nine? One in 27 chain stones? So, like, we're on the raid. We'll drop. It's one in 27. Not too bad. Like, it sounds bad, but it's, it's not that bad if you don't need, like, the perfect stat breakdown. And so, also, if you hit it, you get that dexterity, you'll be happy and you'll be over top of the moon. Nah. How many change stones drop every time you run the raid? There's like a there's like a change stone every two runs. That's like fifty four runs. It's called a it's called a you know, just down the road. Just kick that cow down the road. Only minimally better than a slaver's item. Yeah, exactly. Like you can build a gear set around it that doesn't specifically do that. Yeah, and if you put th if you put thirty three thousand runes in, you're not going to get it at all. But yeah, and then instead, if you wanted, you could just slap in a slave lord's item. Of course, like I said, go back to like a five rings in that slot. It's still not too bad. And have the stats like this. This item set is still over here is not too bad because this is just extra damage. This doesn't affect anything else. It doesn't affect your tankiness. It doesn't affect your durability. It doesn't affect the effectiveness of your of your archery. This is just for extra stats. This is a very well thought out character build. Um, it's really clean. I like it a lot. I uh, the only notable changes of things that I would change, as I said, um, is uh, like I said, the aim shot adding it in here. I think that's really good. Um, of course, I think that if you're gonna have Shradi, make sure you keep it even on your wisdom. So you're that up here. I'm sure you've thought about this, and you're probably gonna be able to play in Shradi for the most part, and. Like I said, I would I would not bank on getting the dexterity, but yes. Hey, what's up, late for work? But yeah, honestly, I wish there was something I could easily change, but this is such a delicate gear set that if you change anything out, like the only way you could make this stronger is if you essentially decide that you're going to get rid of the winter set, um, at which point you can still keep some of this gear, but um, yeah, just slap in the Wildwood wrist, get the chess piece from the Final Watcher, get rid of the Gilded Gloves of Sanctity, um, get uh, you know Wisdom somewhere, and probably swap out another item. Sure. And this is Wall Watchers. Finished Acid Arrow run to level 20? I did not, no. Um, so this is Sapphire of Dodge 12. Well, I can keep that nice and consistent. Wildwood Vest, Sapphire of Dodge 12. Look at that. Get that in there. Nice and clean. All right. So next, uh, you want to make sure you have all the damages and probably also pitch out this change stone because you're probably not going to use that. Also, you need to replace the Gilded Gloves of Sanctity, which means you need to make sure you get this quality spell focus mastery back, which is not too bad. And then you need to get your wisdom back as well. So uh, you come in here and grab the Wildwood Gloves. Wildwood Gloves. Wild, oh my god. Wall. There it is. Wildwood Gauntlets. Now the problem with the, wall watch gaunt the Wildwood Gauntlets is they really don't do anything for you at all. Whatsoever. These stats are basically useless. But the benefit of having these stats, of course... Is that now um, you have the fortification bypass, the double shot, and the artifact ranged power. So in terms of these actual augment sets, you can start to change these out because these both of these augment sets don't do anything at all. Yeah. Um, so spinneret could be good. You could definitely get a spinneret because it's got that there. 
You need to figure out the wisdom and where you get your twenty your bonus to bonus to your wisdom. So that's important. Um, a couple options obviously include something like uh, the Blood of Blossoms. Not the best item, but does have Wisdom 21 built into it. Uh, yeah, Wisdom Change Stone would be fantastic, but I don't think that's a good thing to try to plan around. Um, and this this cloak is Charisma. Oh, it's Charisma and Intelligence, so you can't even get a Wisdom on there. Mm. Life is pain, is not. Jeez, where do you pick up wisdom? Because you can't even get an artifact, because all the artifacts are already taken. Um, unless you went with the Radiant Ring of Tervalastus, which gives you quality accuracy over top of this. But you really, then you're just missing it on the plus two DCs. So if you were to do something like that and just swap out the artifact and go to the Radiant Ring, um, this does not stack with the quality deadly. You gain the accuracy, you keep the wisdom, um, and then you can swap out your sets. You don't need the Dust Raider or the Quick Blade. Um, oh, also, you can't even put Quick Blade in this helmet anyway. So that's that's also got to go now. Um, so now instead of Quick Blade, you have nothing. Um, and instead of Quick Blade, because you don't want to use the Quick Blade, you could use uh, that other set, which was the not the Paragon Guard. You could still use the Cruel Cut now if you wanted. You could swap this over to Cruel Cut. Um, your Change Stone... You could keep Double Shot, Deception, and Insightful Accuracy. Alternatively, you could swap out your Cold Iron Bracers and just grab the Wildwood Wrist like everybody else. Um, this also lets you craft... Oh, this lets you craft Wisdom as well! Oh, isn't that fun? So then you wouldn't need this at all. So instead, you can actually just keep the Ring, the uh, Spinneret, which would be fun. Cool Cut is covered by Wall Watch. Uh, I don't think Wall Watch does. It gives Fortification Bypass, but it doesn't give Helplessness damage. Because Cruel Cut is helplessness, right? Yeah. Because you want the help, you don't get the helpless. Um. Yeah, it's part of the family. Exactly. And then that would be in here. Replace the Dusk Raider with a Cruel Cut, which is not bad. You've still got the Wisdom on here, so you have Wisdom, Insightful Wisdom, and Quality. You've lost one single point of Wisdom under what you had before, which is unfortunate. Um, oh, wait, it was 108. Wait, how did... Brett Og to Wisdom? How did I, how did I lose five Wisdom? What did I cut that dropped five Wisdom? Yeah, but how did how did how did five go down? I only lost one point. What? Oh, the filigrees in the artifact. Because there's no artifact here. Right, because you need an artifact in this build. So it doesn't matter that you have the wildwood wrist with the wisdom, because it doesn't matter because you need an artifact. So you'd have to just use the artifact anyway. So you'd have to use both both this and this, which means you have a free trinket now. And I don't think that there's a DCs thing on here, but let me just check. Uh, quality. Bonus to DCs. Deep Promise Onyx, no. Bottle of smoke. Nope. I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna be here, Chief. Could run Heart of Sulamades instead. Very true. You could just run this for quality constitution five. You could also run the Fang of Zizi instead, which gives, also does the same thing. Essentially keeping the DCs. Actually, that's probably fine because you don't need the other stats. Although now you have to get another really annoying trinket. Or is the Quarry Infuse Core also an artifact? Which gives Khan insightful magical sheltering and Eversight? Which that can't be good. Like, that can't be good. Yeah, yeah, Curse Immunity is great to have. I'm a big fan of having Curse Immunity. Trust me. All right. So you've got two pieces. Uh, wait, where's the Dusk Raider still? Where's the Dusk Raider? Is that in these goggles? No. This weapon? Yeah, it's here. You go to swap this out. Uh, actually, you can just replace this entirely. You can just put this in anywhere else you wanted. Go here. Put your Dusk Raider in here. Not your Dusk Raider. Your Cruel Cut. 
Bam. They got three piece cruel cut finally. Your artifact is back, so you've got the wisdom. Um, you need to craft the wisdom here. Swap out this threat reduction filigree for another wisdom. What don't you have? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'll find a wisdom. Don't you worry. It's in here. There's a wisdom here. Charisma? I think you have Touch of Grace. Twilight Cloak? No. Vigilance? No. Voltaic? Zaragans? Zaragans wisdom. Perfect. <sighs> you know, any bugs report? Letting you put three of the same Augs in the same item? Yeah. That is kind of funny. Um, And I think... So then what you're dropping, so essentially what you've gained now is you now have just generally, you have the double shot, the ranged power, you have the fortification bypass you didn't have, and you have the sneak attack dice. But you've lost like 400 hit points. You've lost some physical resistance rating. You've lost some healing amp. Uh, your DCs fortunately are the same. And you also gained bonus to saves from the resistance 18. Uh, as well as the uh, fire and evil absorption and the immunity to um, curses, which is pretty sweet. But yes, and the AC hurts, absolutely. Dire Bear Belt go into ring slot. Oh, you can put the Dire Bear Belt into the ring slot? Really? Neat. I didn't even notice that. Oh, man. This, this doesn't even feel that much better. Um, and then here, because you already have all these stats with Quiver of Alacrity, you just swap back to the Epic Dynamistic Quiver for the plus four range power. Because you don't have anything that's granting you flat range power anymore. You have ranged Paralyzing Power? Yeah, exactly. Is this better? I don't think this is better. Because if I look at just the offensive stats, you know, I have 116 double shot and 188 ranged power, as well as helplessness damage, which you did not have before, and 93 fortification bypass, versus the, you, you gained a bunch of fortification penetration. Uh, you actually somehow lost range power because you don't have the bring a prowess on anymore. Um, and your double shot is the same? No, it's actually less. Yeah, your old set was better, by the way. Yeah, your, your old set was better than the new set. So yeah, I would I would keep the old set. So this was an interesting dive into um, Paralyzing Arrows. And I'm glad we looked at that other set because, again, I feel like it's just better to go with this one. The problem is you have this, this definite fantasy item, but it is also, when you hit it, it's going to feel the best. PM or is there some Discord channel? Um, just yeah, just PM me on Discord, or send me an email at uh, strimtom at gmail.com. All are fine. So I hope this has helped you, and also getting some good feedback from some other people, because um, again, I am not the smartest or the bestimest, but this looks like a very very cool build. My and again, uh, after fixing out all of these augments as well, uh, your character should be pretty good. The main issue is just getting all of this crap. Getting all this crap is really annoying. Um, the Dusk Raider and the Quick Blades. Um, what does this even come from? Uh, the Quick Blade is... Oh my god. Guided Sight? <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, that's so funny. I like Riding the Storm out. We run Riding the Storm out every week. Because there's multiple people in our guild that want the... Um, that want Quick Blade filigrees. There's tons of people. we So we literally run it every week. Uh, in fact, two weeks in a row, I pulled the blue scale guides. Two weeks in a row. Good times. Alrighty. So I hope that was helpful for you, um, Ali TV. That's, uh, it was a fun, fun excursion. I'm glad I got to do it. And I, I personally learned a lot. So if that means anything, then <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I learned a lot about how to do these things.